Okay, here we are in the backyard apiary. And the ambient temperature is 50, I mean 19 degrees. We had some snow last night. And I just want to check on these thermal wraps and see how they're doing. Uh, 68 degrees on that one. There's a bee flying, in spite of 19 degrees. This one's 97 degrees on the outside. I don't know if you can see that. 87 there. I don't know what makes it different. This is just plastic trash bags with nothing in them. Hundred and thirteen. <laughs> Well, it varies from hive to hive. Let's try this one. These are measured all on the south side, too, by the way, so it's getting a lot of sun. 86. And we'll measure this in the front. 40. Oh, I think I know why this is different. There's an air, air bubble inside of there. That's probably at 136. Yeah, it's warm. So it does, it does seem to help. I put it on more for a windbreak than anything, but it may be value added. Now this one here is a political sign. It's painted. There goes another bee. 91 degrees. 82. 100. 102. So, it appears that uh, the wrap is of some value. I put it on ma mainly for uh, a windbreak purposes. Now here's a hive that doesn't have any on it as a control group. Let's see how it does. This is the north side. 27 degrees. This is the south side. 50 degrees. And this is a uh, nuke that I started in October to see if I could overwinter it. And it does have the political sign wrap on it. Let's see what we got here. 56 degrees. This one's a little more shaded than the other hives were. 68, 69 in the front. So it's helping that one too. Hopefully she'll make it through the winter. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, give you all an update and see how this wrap works and in a few, I guess probably March will determine whether it was successful. That's it.